We have a lot of tractors here and we have a lot of extra hydraulics and we're going to go through all of the reasons, all the types, what you would use them for, where to get them, how to install them, all that kind of stuff in this video so stick around. A quick rundown of what we're going to go over today, hydraulic functions, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on. Hydraulic multipliers, rear remotes, hydraulic top links, hydraulic side links, flow control valves, flow direction valves, and how you can save money on all of it. Now, if you've ever looked at the front end of a tractor, most of them don't have this connection right up here. But a lot of them need this connection because if you ever thought, man, it'd be cool to run a grapple on my tractor, well, you need to have a third function. So let's first talk about those one, two, three, four, five, and so on functions. Your first function on your tractor is gonna be raising and lowering your front end loader, all right? You do that with your loader joystick. Raising and lowering is function one. Function number two is going to be curling and rolling your bucket. If you wanna curl it back, if you wanna dump it out. So when you have a direction going, you know, one way or the other, that's a function. So that's function number two. Now, with a grapple, you obviously have these jaws and you still need to be able to raise and lower your loader. You still need to be able to rock this forward and maybe dump it out or clamp on a big pile of brush and then rock it back. So you still need function two. Well. You need function three to be able to open and close the jaws of those grapple. It does so hydraulically. There's gonna be on this particular one, a cylinder on either end and they're tied together. So you still can operate two grapple jaws with two cylinders just with one third function. It just sends the flow in equal parts to either cylinder. So I'll fire this bad boy up and I'll show you how this all operates so you can better understand. We're using function one to raise it up. There we are, lowering it back down. Now function two, we're gonna dump it that way or pull it back. Okay, now function three, we wanna open those jaws up wide. And then we wanna clamp down, maybe we wanna roll it like this and squeeze that log or pile of brush. And so the speed, it, as uh, if you wanna control the speed of all these functions, you can raise or or lower or increase or, or slow down, I guess, the uh, engine RPM. If you increase them, well, let's see, that increases too. If you go back down to idle, that means the hydraulic pump's going a lot slower. That means the flow is going a lot slower. You can see how much slower everything operates, and that can be good and bad. Maybe it's annoying because it's going too slow, or maybe you have to really do some fine controls and having uh, the hydraulics operate at a slow, at a low RPM and at a low flow rate is beneficial. 